All right, in this video, we're going to go over petty cash. And a lot of companies use petty cash to keep some money on hand and in the office to give out to, you know, different employees for needed things, gas, oil for the trucks, things like that. So first thing, petty cash, what type of account should it be? Any cash account should be a bank account a type on your chart of accounts. So when you go to your list and chart of accounts, that pulls that up here. I'm going to go down to account down here and select new. And we're going to do a new bank account and we're going to call it petty cash. You can have several petty cash accounts. So if you have multiple offices, uh, you can say, you know, I've got a petty cash account in Austin, one in Dallas, one in Houston. You can have multiples of them. Um, and you can also have multiples inside the office too. So if you have a petty cash for uh, marketing versus petty cash for service department, you can have multiples. Okay. So of course it's going to ask you, default asks the question, do you want to set this up with online services? And you want to say no. Okay. So you have your petty cash account in here. Normally what happens is people will pull money from their checking account. So we're just going to say as of 12 one we went to the bank and we deposited $500 in our petty cash account and we drew it most likely from another checking account, right? Okay. And so I'm going to record that. So we still have a starting balance of $500 now in this account. Now what should happen is, you know, someone comes in to the office and says, I need $20 for this, I need $45 for that, or I need reimbursement for this. Okay, so you can record it in two ways. First thing, you can open up your chart of accounts and double click on petty cash, so you get right to the register here. So I could say on 12-10, I paid, let's look at one of our employees here, Duncan, and the payment was for $20.25. And I can come down here to the splits line if I need to and split it out and say this was for fuel on the job for Mike Ballack and it was a maintenance thing. Okay, so you can choose that splits button to give you the drop down there. Or if I wanted to, I can say it was for fuel and for maintenance. So maybe $10.25 was for fuel and $10 was for maintenance and still put it to Mike. Okay. Uh, so I can save this. And now what I've done is I've taken $20.25 out of my petty cash. So my petty cash balance is now $479.75. And I've copied or I've uh, correctly allocated the expenses to the proper expense account for that $20.25. Okay. So then, you know, let's just do another one. We're going to say again to Duncan, just because we already have that here, and we'll say $45, and it was for fuel, and we don't have any other expense or customer who was for, so I'm just going to hit enter. All right. So now it's the end of the month, and I'm doing my monthly closeout, right? One of the things I do as part of my monthly close, or one of the things you can do as part of your monthly close, is make sure to refill your petty cash account. So what you want to do is write a check to cash out of your checking account or do a withdrawal from your checking account. And you want to get it back up to the $500, right? Because that's what you do every month. So now it's twelve thirty-one, and I'm going to deposit 65, oops, 65.25 in my bank account. And I'm pulling it from my checking account and I hit return. Okay. So when I reconcile my checking account, I'm going to see that 6525 come out. And then the other thing I can do now is I can go up to banking and reconcile and reconcile my petty cash account. Okay. So I'm going to say $500, continue. I check these transactions off. I get it to zero and I can reconcile it just like a bank account. Okay. Because you always have the balance at $500. So it's pretty easy how to use petty cash. One thing I wanted to go over, however, was how to use petty cash uh, in a different way for owners, um, for the small business owners. I'm going to go ahead and put a $500 payment to office supplies here and take that money out. Okay, so one of the things that you can do as a business owner also is you can 
you know, you, you uh, write all your receipts or you receive all your receipts for things you've paid out in cash already. So business owners frequently, or even people on the job, they'll frequently come in and they'll, they'll use their own personal cash as a payment for a business expense. So we're talking to talk about how to record that, right? So a great way to do that is using a petty cash account. So what we do is we come in here and we say, um, this is, we had on 1130, we had a payment of $36 and five cents to fuel. And, and then as a business owner on 1130, again, I had a payment of $25 to office supplies. Okay. And then I'm going to say on 12, one, I had a payment of $65 and 87 cents to meals. No don't have meals, so let's say to delivery fees, okay? And notice how this balance continuously runs negative. So I'm at negative 126.92. And so that means I know as a business owner, because of these Triton Jacksons up here that I recorded, that I have put in $126.92 towards my business, but I've paid it out of my own personal cash. So I want to make sure and record that. So what you want to do is you want to come in here, whatever, once a month, once a quarter, and make this balance go to zero and put it as a contribution to the company. Okay. So I'm going to do is on, I'm going to pretend like I'm reconciling again on 1231. And to get this balance back to zero, I have to go put a balance to owner's contribution. And it's going to be $126.92. And I'm going to say record. Okay. So now, if you'll notice, this transaction here made it, the petty cash count go to zero now. Now, why do I want to do that? Now, if I look at, well, first things first, I've properly recorded my expenses, right? Because I have these expenses for the business and I need to put them on the profit and loss. And the second thing is now when I go look at my balance sheet, I've got a contribution of $126.92. That means as a business owner, I've taken my own cash and put it into the company, all right? So it's just a small, quick way for small businesses to track their personal expenses easily by just entering them through the petty cash account.